Going through the videos from last week, we went over with the kids that stuck around after last practice. Uh, first one, basically just a lot of mirroring opportunities in the uh, in the first couple sets with some supporting videos. But as we're coming around from from X, we have basically somebody pulling a switch and look at the backside there. We have somebody wide open asking for the ball, uh, and so we try to jam it in, maybe make a, a pass that doesn't get off, miss opportunity for a shot. So again, coming around the back, uh, it's an easy opportunity for a switch back. Defensive uh, players are somewhat sliding over, but somebody's wide open. Uh, we should try and hit that man or hit the guy in the slot, but he's got to be ready to take that offhanded shot uh, on with the with the a lefty using the, the right hand to get that shot off. Uh, second one, here's another mirror opportunity. Uh, number two, just goes straight to the cage. You know, in this situation, he should run to the open space there on the right, and then the uh, person down on the on the slide should should drop in up here. Another mirror opportunity. Uh, all you had to do is kind of slide over to the open space to the side of him, would have had a more open shot. This is an example of maybe um, instead of turning your head and going to the cage, what so you see number four here. Um, it will kind of just watch through instead of turning around and running away, keeping your body open to where the ball player is, and then obviously having the stick ready to take that offhand shot. This, again, is a lefty uh, catching it, switching over to the right really quick and just getting it off. So just a good example of, of uh, what we potentially could have done. So again, like I said, he's coming over to his right, could have slid over there, uh, body facing towards the man, uh, with an open shot, uh, step down shot opportunity. And again, over here, opportunity to slide over, defenseman's following, and then just get another easy shot off. Here, um, you know, coming around from X, obviously people pulling through, clearing through. What we're trying to do is actually keep it down below, not really work it up to the top. Uh, either way, in this situation, the same one, wheels it around. We want to kind of keep it down low. So if we do make a pass up up the alley, um, so we continue to put pressure down low instead of bringing it up top and, and really kind of stand around. So in this situation, if you look down closer to the crease, see Harry coming through, uh, 32, he comes up. You can see on the right side, he's coming up, coming through to the middle area. And what we actually want him to do is do a, a mirror with what looks like uh, Max or yeah, just sliding down and in uh, instead of sliding up and just going to the top. Here's a perfect, this is a good mirror. So finds open space, just doesn't get the shot off quick enough. Uh, it's just it's a bunch of drop passes from the weekend, but that was a good example of what it, what it's supposed to look like. Again, like I said, just reinforcing uh, the opportunities here to kind of keep it down low instead of pass up high. Uh, when you are up high, coming through the crease, you can slide out. Harry can slide out on the backside of, well, I think that's Patty maybe. Um, but anyways, opportunity to keep down low, opportunity to mirror out. Here's an example of just that. So the man's coming in. He sees an opportunity to slide off while driving down. 35 decides to slide, passes up, step down shot. So just looking for open space, not necessarily clogging the, the place or the space that we're trying to go into. Again, very similar thing. He passed down to the middleman, kind of making a dodge, recognizing he has somebody to switch with, rolls out, defenseman slides, makes the pass, step down shot. I think we have some other examples of good mirrors um, here shortly, but this is a, a one where we did find uh, a man coming through. Here's, gotta watch this one. Watch it develop a little bit. Passing down instead of attacking, just two man game opportunity there on the right. Instead of just passing it down, uh, trying to make them pick off each other make something else happen. Uh, again, in this one, let's see if we can get that rewound a little bit. Okay. 
All right, passing around the top, uh, clear opportunity in the backside. Nobody's covering X. He can go straight to the cage. Defensemen are on their men in the crease. Instead, we decide to make just a pass uh, into trouble, into poles, instead of hitting the wide open man behind the net. So trust in everybody that you're passing or that's on the field that has our jersey. Uh, get it to them. We have some really fast and talented kids so uh, being selective on who you're passed to is not not really an option so moving into uh, just some good examples of mirrors and dodges from rolling away from the person that's guarding you uh, another good angle of that same one but you can kind of see two guys match up it's a two-man game he goes around, he basically completely mirrors everything the other gentleman does. So he goes up, he hesitates, so he hesitates. He goes to his side, he goes to the opposite side, he's wide open. So if we're always looking at each other, kind of communicating with our eyes and where we're going and moving off of that, uh, mirrors a, a pretty important skill. Uh, that we, and when we get our stick skills, we can even do something as creative as this, but it's a means of getting it into open space for the person to have a step down shot. Again, signaling out, I'm gonna pop out. He gets it up to him. As soon as there's a slide, he's got a chance for a shot and he rips it. Here's some examples of just trusting our, our bad hand. So we worked a lot on this in the positional drills, but if he can just wheel back around with his left, he can get a shot off as soon as that stick goes on the other side of his body. So just trusting and dodging back down instead of bringing it up high, um, just getting it down to the, to the playmaker. Another example of an offhand shot opportunity where we had to wheel out, but if he can just switch over to his offhand here, and then get a shot down, he's not having the stick come over and, and cut him off or rolling out of uh, the, uh, the opportunity. So just a quick switch on the hands and a hard shot down low. Nice bounce shot, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, also up here, we don't need to be skip passing um, across the field. Make, it, make the passes easy, make it, make it what we want. Um, here we have a uh, had a, a, a short stick on a short stick, and that's essentially what we want. This is uh, accidentally grabbed. Oh, another one where he can just slide to his offhand, just like we were just talking about, and get a step down shot, trusting that you can do a quick switch of both sides. Um, and we worked on that quite a bit in the uh, positional drills, and we'll continue to enhance or improve those skills and, and build that confidence. But. Knowing that it's an option, when you can see it, it's wide open, we can get more shots off. Uh, a couple examples of just making one more pass. So slide, draw, pass, perfect. Get a slide and decide to shoot it instead of just look at the wide open man over there. You can just pull out even and just lob over, um, but forcing a, a shot down low, in and through. Uh, goalie made it pretty, didn't really have to move much if you're gonna rip it. Uh, through traffic, uh, lows, best, and high. Here's, another, here's a good example of where we did it well. So we get a pass down. So, okay, so we have a slide, pass, slide, same person, just making a better decision this time, get a good shot. Didn't go in, but it was a good shot and a better opportunity than we had the first time. So just always looking for that one more pass, especially when uh, you draw a slide, they're coming from somewhere. So just looking up the field a little bit more uh, with purpose. This is our Maryland offense. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is, is have this matchup that we just had. Instead, we pass to somebody that's guard, being guarded by a long pole. So if we have a short stick on short stick matchup, we just need to pull the poles out, draw them a little bit out so we can just dodge to the cage. Again, he has... Uh, in this case, Brady has a short stick slide over to him. He should take that opportunity, just back up and take him, uh, beat him on a dodge and then just get the shot. Instead, he's passing over. Um, and then we get one more pass to where the actual pull is, which is not as advantageous as we want it to be. So just be mindful of 
of who is guarding who and when. Uh, here's another good example of we have the ball, gets knocked around a little bit, but we get into position, Maryland set, so Brady uh, Keen goes down in the triangle set, but instead of really establishing that triangle, we decide to run away from the short stick over to the long pole. Um, so the point is for that long pole to be staying on Brady instead of switching spots. Instead, um, again, passing over to where the pole is, not against or dodging against the short stick that is on uh, on ball. So just really trying to ingrain in your all's heads that the this the poles are where we're trying to keep people away from the, the intent of the triangle is to have the pole be drawn into the middle midfielder and having two uh, short sticks on top instead here we have constant pressure from long poles on our high middies and that that's not the point so just a good visual of of uh you know maybe what not to do and, and, and why Here's a good example of where we're in, not in our transition fast break positioning. So we should be pulling the defender away. So right here, we should be A, running away from the ball. Uh, B, we should be on the other side of the cage. But even in this situation, uh, he, wins the, he wins the dodge. But we, instead of running behind the net, run into the lane where he's going to run into uh, the defenseman that's just following the, the, the guy he's covering. So here you see our middle player running back into the crease when if he just ran down 2X and then X ran away. Um, not only would X then be on the backside when the guys slide, but uh, Max could have dodged all the way to the cage because he ends up beating this man. We just draw a defender right back to where he needs to go, and then he eventually has to just get out of trouble. But yeah, so on a fast break, going away from the ball, um, never really to it, trying to draw defense away, especially if we've got a good dodge uh, and, and speed going in our favor. Here's some good examples of, of that mirroring concept. So just really moving away from the guy when he's moving to them. They're they're sliding to the back. So another just visual of, you know, what would be, what would be great uh, if we're really paying attention to where the ball is at all time, always having our eyes uh, on a swivel, understanding where our teammates are going so that we can uh, swing and wheel off of, of the direction that they're at. So again, just a couple examples of what it looks like when it works and why it works uh, when they look for it. So I think in the, uh, the next example is just really talking about um, body positioning. So we're lunging a lot this year uh, against good, good Dodgers. We're going to get beat. We just need to keep the person in front of us, keep our pull to the side of where they're going. Uh, the T-bone is what I've been telling you guys is really having your chest line up with with where they're going. If they make a dodge and you can step in front of them, you can cut them off. Uh, that's all I want you to do and then just get back in position, keeping it all in front of you. The, the lunging is gonna kill us uh, if we don't break the, some of those habits. So it's just, here's a good video of just kind of having good body positioning. So John just puts a nice little check on, on someone, but really just having the stick in the right spot. Just always just squaring up, keeping everything out in front. If he tries to dodge in, just cut them off. Again, he's just keeping everything in front of him, and that's really all we're looking for. Again, we can look at it over and over, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's really just habits and, and lunging and, and choosing to ride and fundamental defense. So that's it.